What's your on-the-ground view of what's happening with the Australian economy now? Look, I think big picture it's still in pretty good shape. Um, you know, and, and I've been saying that for some time. Um, there is no doubt, I think, people still underestimate the size of the transformation that is going on within the economy as we, as we move from a 20th century model uh, to a 21st century model. Um, I, you know, I think that that adjustment is, um, has been much harder um, uh, to, really, to really get people's head around than perhaps um, we had perceived originally. But I still think it's in pretty good shape. If you look at a number of the uh, businesses, I mean, we take mining and, and resources um, as a given almost. I mean, that's going well. But the top end of the agri sector is going extremely well. Um, education sector is still going well. Services generally going very, very well. Um, and, and there is still very good manufacturing um, happening. You know, the, the, the idea that manufacturing is dead and dying in, in Australia is a myth. You know, the, the, the issue, and quite rightly, is what we should be looking for is value-added manufacturing. It's using the intellectual capital um, of the country to really create um, value product rather than uh, just widgets. Um, so, I th you know, I think that there is, um, you know, again, a little bit um, too much concern about um, potential um, restructurings and, and, and changes. But, but if you look at the, you know, the statistics, we are still growing something like uh, 15,000 jobs a month. Um, that's pretty positive. Um, we've seen um, in the bank incredible growth in the SME sector and that small business sector. Um, which is really good, and of course that's the entrepreneurial sector. That's the heart, the heartland of the country, and and frankly, we have to encourage that, and have to encourage that to grow. And that pipeline of capital expenditure that that a lot of people have been waiting to come come online for a long time now, is now the time we're starting to see some I of that. So. I yeah. think we're going to start to see see that come in a little bit more. I mean, I have been saying that. Like I said the same thing last year. So hopefully this year I'm right. Um, but I do believe that um, there has been um, probably excessive caution um, being, being shown by some businesses. They have been, I, you know, I, I think people were waiting to see what the government would do, how they would uh, settle in. Um, and I think probably the wounds from the previous administration were probably deeper than we realised um, in terms of business confidence. One of the new things that's come out is what's been dubbed the Tony tax, the, the fiscal levy. Is that the sort of measure that can heal some of these wounds? Look, I think um, the, the wounds are, are too deep for band-aids. Um, you know, that the time has gone for that. This needs fundamental reform and restructuring. Um, and, you know, basically there is a cost problem um, and you've got to deal with that. Um, I think any any idea of just pulling um, further tax increases in is, is going to do nothing. Um, it's just going to upset everyone, actually. Um, and I think the other thing to you know you have to consider that um, if you um, are trying to encourage an entrepreneurial society, if you're trying to encourage um, successful small business, the last thing you should be doing is taxing them more. In that uh, situation, and what would you be hoping for from the federal budget that's looming? Well, I think you know the budget is. Um, you know, I don't. I don't want to uh, preempt the budget. Um, but I, I do believe that um, you know this is the chance that the government has to try and um, try and deal with some of these cost issues. Um, you know this is what they've been saying. You know this is the rhetoric that we hear, um, and and they have to do some of this structural reform. You know it's not going to be easy, um, and I wish them luck. But um, I think it has to be done. Thanks again, once again, Mike, for your time with Blue Notes. Thanks a lot, Andrew.